control had this rugged look to it and it had a beautiful box shape that was really loved. But the new generation, known as the Y62, changed everything the previous two generations stood for. That is the Y60 and the Y61. But hey, the Y62 was well accepted in this market because look at it. It looks aggressive, it looks commanding and yet so modern. And that is what makes it so desirable. I absolutely love the front of the patrol because look at it. Honestly, if this was behind me and I didn't get out of the way, that'd be only because of two reasons. One, I'm stupid. Two, I'm really stupid. Because look at it guys, it just commands respect. This Y62 has permanent residency in the fast lane. The front headlights have a square bracket shaped LED strip which is also used as daytime running lights. According to me, that is the cherry on top of this aggressive look. The side looks majestic as well. The car has 20 inch alloy wheels and is complemented with a chrome fender vent. All in all, this exterior makes sure you're noticed on the streets. The tail light resembles the front headlamps, it also has that bracket shape. And the badge, which is the patrol, is on the left hand side of the car. And the trim, which is platinum in this case, that is the top of the line, is on the right. Talking about the interiors, the first thing you think of when you look on the insides is the size. Because look at it, it is huge. The third row could be folded over electronically with these buttons here. It is a pretty slow process, but nonetheless, it doesn't have to be done manually. The second row comfortably seats adults, but whereas the third row would be better off with kids rather than adults. The seats can be adjusted automatically with this knob here and also the steering can be done electronically with that knob there. The interiors just scream out luxury, luxury and luxury. All thanks to the wooden detailing along the center console, over the dashboards and also over the door panels. So let's give you a quick highlight on the features. Starting with this 8 inch touchscreen, Nissan, why do you know make bigger screens? This car is huge. Honestly, you could have done with a bigger screen. Moving on, it also has an 8 inch screen in the second row for entertainment. It has two sun climate control, ventilated seats only in the front, a sunroof, center storage that's also a cool box, and that's super handy for summers, a 360 degree camera, and that's super important, especially when you're driving this tiny tank. My favorite feature is the switch that switches the rear view mirror into a rear view camera. This is also a great safety feature. So the car has a push start ignition and let's get on the road with it. The Patrol is an all-wheel drive with a 7-speed automatic transmission gearbox and it has two engine options. It has a 4.0 V6 or a 5.6 liter V8. The V6 has 275 horsepower and the V8 has a whopping 400 horsepower. The V8 does 0 to 106.6 seconds which is very impressive considering how heavy this is. So from the driver's perspective, it is really huge. It gives you a very clear perspective and it makes you feel very confident on the road. So to conclude, the Patrol has a good resale value, is looped to maintain and can also have spare parts bought easily. The car can also be pimped up to some next levels like these, so you can do so much with the Patrol. I can keep going on and on and on about how epic this SUV is. Finally, to conclude, this is exactly why you see so many of these around town. Thanks for watching guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Lots of love!